Okay, I was in the process of uh, uh, regrouting the tub. This is the last I have in this 206 apartment. That's the one with the weird switch and the fake switch on the outside and the door that was bound up and everything. So, so I'm just trying to finish up last touches and I'm coming around here and solid, solid. Not solid. And in fact, these are moving. <laughs> so. Oh. All right, here we are in 206. This is the one where I'm doing the uh, bathroom work on with the switch, the, the bound door, um, and the damage in the living room's final touches. I'm actually just, literally just painting and moving out of here. And I came to do the, uh, replace the caulk here, it was pretty bad. And so I'm going through and looking at this wall over here. And obviously they, did, that was loud. Obviously they did a repair here before. Why they did this, I don't know, they're lazy. Mostly. Missing a screw. These screws aren't coming out. They're not, they're not coming out. So I'm gonna have to cut them off. Um, get behind that plate. I'm about to rebuild this because this is stupid. This this should not be this way. I'm just going to pump this little tile right out here. And, just gonna pump it up. and you know, that shouldn't be that easy. Yeah. So I don't think there's wall damage back here. I think it's just water damage from just a really bad repair. You know, reinstalling of this thing. It's just a bad repair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these guys out thing out and rebuild it real fast should take me a day yeah and I also see that they put they put that screw wrong that's why oh, this was long that's not one oh this valve is sticking out really far that's why I thought maybe it was just the wrong size but this valve is sticking out about half inch further than that one all right welcome to this uh for 70 year old construction apparently they didn't care back then so I'm gonna fix it fast to get back to it there you go bay all right I popped it open I've got a lot of sand Remember, this is the this is long-term water damage. Is when it does this, where it, it literally sublimates the, uh, the the concrete, turns it just back into sand and whatever. So I'm barely touching it. So this obviously is some pretty good long-term water damage. Now it's discolored. I'm feeling it. And it feels dry, but. This apartment hasn't been occupied for um, close to a month now. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little work to put this fixed up here. I'm gonna probably just get rid of it, cleaning it and uh, resurfacing it. But we'll see how far this goes. I do all day long. Freaking love it. All right. Sorry, I went from the fisheye view to the, the regular view. But yeah, look at this. Look at all this. So all this has got to go. Screws can't get out. So I'm gonna get my grinder. And we do have some. Not lunge, but this thing is rough. Few moments later. 
when you got big work to do, bring your big screwdriver. Big screwdriver. The size of that mother. Roar. Yeah, it's the biggest screwdriver out. That one out. All right. So this is an interesting view for you. Um, what you see in here actually is piles and piles of debris that has fallen down from construction jobs upstairs. Remember, this is a wet wall, this is hollow. So all the stuff you see in here is just all debris from previous jobs, all mostly from upstairs, just falling down into this space. That crazy. I had to be careful when I did this too because this is also an area that's full of razor blades. Yep. Oh yeah, full of razor blades. The uh yeah, I gotta get some gloves on. Um the medicine cabinets you know has a dispenser, a little slot in there. So all those go into the wall and they fall down to here. So yeah, so we're here. I'm gonna cut out some more of these tiles. There's some moisture in here. Always. Yeah, let me get my vacuum and get some gloves on in here. Mm, that's nasty. Look at that shit. And you can see it was painted too. Tiles used to be a beige color, but they came back and they painted them all white. That's crazy. Anyways, who calls? Who calls? Oh? I better get that. This is cool. I found this in the wall. This is a, uh, uh, a masonry hole saw. One of these has diamonds embedded in the edges, right? It was way in here on my back. I don't know when they used it or when it fell down, but... I don't know how old it is, but it's pretty old and that neat. Anyways, I thought that was cool. I, I find things in the wall all the time. I've never found a tool, but it's off. I'll, I'll keep it. <laughs> Alright, excavation continues. I'm about where I need to be though on the line. These pieces are falling off. I'm not sure if I want to take these off here, right? But I'm definitely going to address the beige. And you'll see that this used to be a, um, a e either a toilet paper dispenser or a um, soap dish. Not well, likely a soap dish, but so when they came back and fixed it, and they did this. Yeah, screw in there. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'm just kind of at a loss for words. <laughs> Who, me? At a loss for words? Why you put a metal plate here? First things first, why would you put a metal plate here? It's so stupid. Fix it. Just fix it. Fix a hole in the wall, put new tiles on. How hard is it to fix? I'm gonna come in here with a frickin' piece of, of um, a hardy board and in about 20 minutes I'll have it in place and um, ready to put tile on. But um, yeah, here we are. Put some of this stuff. Really sucks when you get the half ass repairs and stuff like that. I have person to be able to fix them all. Yay! But I may have to call the plumber. I think this is what we do. Did I see anything there on anything? 
Anyway, so we're at 